Hey, greetings everybody. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how I mounted a toolbox on the back of this Massey Ferguson GC2300 subcompact tractor. It's always nice to have some place to store some basic tools when you're out and about, and it just didn't really seem to be any easy way to do that without a few simple modifications. So what I did is I'm using the uh, mounting points where the seat belt strap used to be. Now, I never used the seat belts anyway. And over time, unfortunately, the tractor sits outside all the time. I don't have a shed for it. They rusted. They wouldn't even uh, retract or pull out. So I just took them off and was not able to find replacements for them. But in any case, if I ever do want to put seat belts back on, I should still be able to mount them on the same place as long as I have a little bit longer bolt. Anyway, this is just a simple piece of angle iron I bought down at the local hardware store. And then this is a little L bracket, a little Simpson L bracket they use for uh, like deck construction. And I took and welded this to the bottom of the angle bracket on both sides. And then put this on here with a level and drilled the appropriate holes so that it would be sitting level. Because the uh, mounting holes from side to side are not the same. And then this is just an old uh, metal toolbox I had from probably 40 years ago. My father's put a coat of Massey Ferguson paint on it. And underneath there are two bolts coming up through the angle iron into the uh, toolbox. Here's the uh, back side of the tractor looking at this uh, toolbox. It fits in there pretty nicely. Like I said before, this is an old uh, toolbox of my father's. It's probably 40, 50 years old. It's uh, a Lion, L-Y-O-N, from Aurora, Illinois. As a matter of fact, I researched them, and they're, uh, they're still in business. So I was thinking about sending them a photograph of this and see if they could tell me when it was made. One problem is it's going to interfere with your slow-moving sign here, the little orange triangle. I don't go on the roads, I don't really need it, but I guess if I ever did, I could uh, take and make a similar plate, probably put it up at the top. Here you can see looking up from the bottom, there's just that simple little angle bracket, which is a Simpsons angle bracket you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot or any old hardware store. And I just welded it onto that piece of angle iron, which I also got at the hardware store. And then there's a bolt that comes down through the toolbox into that angle iron, which uh, there's one on the side as well, which holds that toolbox in place. I guess if I had to do it over again, what I'd probably do, though, is I'd use a plastic toolbox, one of the newer ones, just because it probably won't rattle as much as this thing does, and also I think it's probably going to be a little more watertight. This thing tends to get a little bit of water inside of it uh, when it rains and blows pretty hard, so that's a bit of an issue. Hey, now, if you're not too uh, keen on using these seat belt mounts here to match your toolbox, as I mentioned earlier, my seat belts uh, were never used, and they seized up and were worthless. And I couldn't find any replacements anywhere, so I just took them off. But you could probably still put them on if you had a long enough bolt. But if you don't want to go this route, down here on this bar on the frame, there's already two holes. And there's a nut welded on the bottom there. These are all metric, so I'm not sure what size that is. But you could do a similar kind of bracket here to come up and uh, mount a toolbox on there as well. Okay, guys, I hope this gives you some, gives you some ideas.